All right, guys, welcome back. This is Dima Fox coming at you with a extremely important update video. All right, guys, so as you're well aware, there was a strike before I left to go to Europe. However, that strike was broken uh, for the big merge event. Players broke the strike to play the event, and if you did watch uh, Payne's video earlier, he explained exactly what the merger event was about. Basically closing down servers to make room for Final Fantasy and their new titles. While making this merge event extremely expensive for the big guys. Since I was in Europe at the time, I had no idea about the merge event. I basically had my phone off for... 10 days. I checked it here and there online, but I didn't log into the game at all. Now, guys, we have a different strike happening. It is too much. Too much. If you look back at my uh, later video, uh, Mobile Strike glitched a big bag of fuckery. That's when it all started, at least on Mobile Strike. Game of War is also striking, and players are furious absolutely furious again guys it's been too long it's been too long that they've been getting away with some of this price gouging and some of the stuff that they've been pulling you spend three hundred dollars one day you're obsolete in two days another hundred bucks obsolete in two days another hundred dollars and they're just bleeding releases 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 and it's too much on top of that the game is glitching incredibly incredibly glitching right now the mobile ops game is glitched you basically get your tank destroyed when you use certain ordnance inside the actual uh, simulator currently this gem here and see this is this is the part that really fucking pisses me off look at this where's it limited time mobile stats special see this here oh no wait this is the wrong one there's a there's another one here uh, where, where is it, where is it, where is it, where is it? See, they made another fucking mistake. Basically, in your mobile ops, your research was supposed to take away X amount of credits, but it was taking way more. Oops, another fucking mistake. They come on here, and they say, oh, anything will be doubled. Take advantage of this launch day special. Guys, you not realize that they're packaging and selling you their mistakes. This is too fucking much. This is, it's, 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 it's incredible and it's disgusting. If you take a look at the strike that's happening right now, post-merge, I'm in 379, Emco. There's like nothing left. But if we just visit a few of the states and we come up um, to the top corner here, Everyone is warping to 1-1 one, one in the state maps to participate in this strike. Now, I'm not in this state, so I can't just type in 1-1, one, one, which is extremely annoying, but I'll get there eventually. So you can see everyone is striking everywhere on all servers. Look at this. All up here, striking, 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 striking. Guys, we're making a call for all the player bases from the uh, leadership strike team to warp to 1-1 one, one in your state to not purchase any packages for at least seven days. Do not log in for at least seven days. Do not bother messing with this game for at least seven days. So I got a couple of things here, guys. There's a lot of people participating in this. All the top alliances are participating in it. And the reason why we're striking is, is very simple. The game is broken. The game has gotten so unbearably malicious and unbearably extortion-like that it's got players retreating to their credit card companies to refund all packages purchased through uh, the Google Play and the Apple stores. Apple has been contacted about this. Google has been contacted about this. Currently in the strike group, we have open dialogue, open with um, members of the support team from uh, Google and the boys and some of the girls that are 
contributing to our group are already reaching out to news outlets and other forms of media to, to expose this ridiculous, ridiculous scheme that they've been pulling so far. I mean, if you look at the Mega Merge event, and it's like five or ten packs a day, every day for 15 days. Jesus, like, they're basically getting up their marketing budget to, to release Final Fantasy and and the other games that, that are coming out. And, you know, the big issue with, uh, you know, with EW right now is that they're just milking the players to death. And they're not fixing the game. And, like, you know, I've seen emails where... You know, some senior manager guys from EW have sent out and, and they'd be shared in the room saying like, oh, we're not perfect and everything is thoroughly tested. Well, that is nothing short of complete and utter bullshit because if it was tested, it would work. Let's, let's look at this as an example, guys. Imagine if Call of Duty, imagine this, imagine if Call of Duty, one of the, the number one selling video game of all time is Call of Duty, number one. Imagine if they released something and it was broken and then they made people pay for the release and it was like 20 bucks or 40 bucks. What do you think would happen to Activision or Call of Duty or um, was it Sledgehammer Games, some of the, the place that would do it? What would happen if they forced you to use real money to buy bullets so every magazine was $1 or every bullet was 60 cents and you can buy these big packages and when you ran out of bullets, the only way you could um, restock your character to keep playing was either to buy more or wait for some other character in the map to die and farm the bullets to use them. It'd be outrage. It'd be complete and utter outrage. Imagine if Grand Theft Auto made you pay for gasoline, in-game gasoline. You, you got 30 kilometers and you had to spend real money to do it. It'd be outrage. Yet... This company has been consistently releasing an update, and then within two days, they release another update that costs three, four, five, six, seven packs to max. Which means, look, look, and, and look, it's, it's, it's anyone's own personal decision how they spend their money. That's fine. But if you spent 100 or $200 on a game to play it, and then you're obsolete in two days, that is just ridiculous on every fucking level so guys i'm gonna i got some information up here so this is everything you need to know about the strike there's two main strike groups there's the indefinite strike group and then there's some of the main organized strike groups and i'm gonna break them into two because one group is taking a different strategy than the other and i'm in the indefinite group at the moment so i'm gonna explain the strike what's happening Basically, we're doing 3, 7, 14, and 30-day intervals. So currently, this is the beginning of the 7-day, the second phase of the strike, where it's no packs and no logins. If significant improvement is not made, we then go to 14 days. If significant improvement and changes aren't made, then it goes to 30. All the top guys are in it, such as UE, SICK, AE, E1C, uh, Saman, and AFO are participating. All of my guys, or 99% of them, are participating. Other YouTubers that are covering Mobile Strike are also participating. And many, many, many other top, middle top, middle, middle, and lower alliances are participating. Basically, to contribute to the strike... All you need to do is warp to 1-1 one, one and pop a 30-day shield. Lay down your phone and get away from this game until significant improvements are back. On top of that, <clears throat> there's a list of demands that have been placed. I shouldn't say demands. Requests that are being made, you know, to, 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 to Epic War, right? To, to fix this ridiculousness that they've been releasing the past while right so at the particular moment the one of the strike leadership teams is dabble x5 alphic doc questar wicked west xga x5 and it's also set up oops what's happening uh okay we're still good yeah so we have an official discord channel set up now the big issue with the line rooms is nukers come in and nuke the rooms left right and center 
I highly recommend you to download Discord. I'm going to provide in the description a direct channel link to our room there because line is too much. You can only have 500 people in a room and we have five rooms. It's it's too much. Also, we get people that are coming into the, the rooms and they're actually nuking them, which is troll-like, but it, it's disruptive. So highly recommend that you download Discord. It's basically like Lime, but on steroids. It's it's a gaming chat application, which is meant, which is basically re replacing TeamSpeak. It's it's free, you can, and just join us there. If I take a look at some of the other, um, some of the other information that we have here, you know, you know, the, the biggest problem is that they never address the issues that players have. That's that's one of the biggest ones. So if something is broken, we always get this um, boilerplate automatic copy paste response everywhere, and it's frustrating because nothing gets solved. And then while they're saying they're working on issues. They release five to ten updates before they even get around to fixing certain issues unless it's a massive issue like the glitch was when everyone got zeroed. Everybody. And then if you look at this merge event, two billion rallies or some, something and like kilotillion attacks, kilotrillion attacks is ridiculous. You know, M MZ is and EW one of the highest grossing companies on the App Store. And they're also some of the highest refunded games because of their malpractice w w with how they, they, they push these updates. You know, I don't even know really where to begin, you know, to, to, to talk about that uh, properly. But it's, 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 it's immensely frustrating. And we've we finally got contact with... EW, at least a few of us do, and we're, we're reaching out to other individuals within the industry to, to help us out and kind of expose this because it's just, it's, it's too much. It's too much. And at this point in time, all we need to do is stand together and to, to do this. This is the biggest strike ever in game. All alliances are participating for the most part, not 100% of the player base. Because, you know, you can't get everyone. But this is definitely the most organized the player base has been ever. And that goes for Game of War and Mobile Strike combined. You got to realize, guys, that they're about to release one of their biggest titles next month, Final Fantasy. And right now, there are thousands of pissed off players that would love nothing more than to shit all over that launch. You know what I mean? And what I recommend all of you do right now, after you listen to this video and after you share this video with everyone, go to your respected app store. Leave a review on the game. Do that right now. The reason why is because Google has received thousands of complaints about this game. Apple has received thousands of complaints. For them to confirm it, if you think about it from the point of view of their support staff at those companies, they get the complaints, then they check the game. If they see a horrible amount of one-star reviews with the same views reflected on the actual review uh, ticket on the game in the App Store, they'll do something about it. But if they don't see that, you know, think about all the complaints that like Google and Apple, two of the world's biggest tech companies, or some of the biggest tech companies, they get millions of these a day. So this needs to get momentum, guys. Go to the App Store. Leave a review. Give a rating that you feel is justified for this game. And continue and continue to put pressure on them because... All you realize this is a multi billion dollar corporation, and they have a gaming community that's so dedicated to the game itself because they have a good product. But instead of fostering a healthy and strong gaming community, they cater to the top one percent of spenders and leave us all out to dry, basically.
which is too bad because I'm about to release another video on another game that I recommend you go to if this doesn't if they don't follow through because even as much as I love covering Mobile Strike and I enjoy the game gameplay and the camaraderie of it if there's no changes seen on this I'm going to move on to another game as well because I I've had enough of it it's it's too much you know um next month 100% uh, I'll be slowing down as well uh, just with YouTube because I have school coming up but you know there's no way that I can justify and recommend players that follow me to purchase packs because now I'm a part of the fueling mechanism that's driving the company because I'm covering the game. You, you come to my channel, you learn from me, and um, you take that information, you purchase packs. Until something has started, no more gameplay videos from me. I might do an update later on the Attack Trap series. But seven days, I'm sticking right here with everyone else from the other states. And... I ain't budging. Seven days. That's that's what we're going with. Also, guys, I'm going to leave in the description a letter that we've been sharing in the line rooms, the main strike team. And I would appreciate it if you guys could help us in any way to reach out and actually expose this ridic ridiculous, ridiculous practice that they're employing. But, you know, at the same time, I got a message for EW. I mean... You guys do have a great product. I mean, you guys know that. But you have a dedicated gaming community that any gaming studio would murder for. You know what I mean? If you look at other companies like Gaijin Entertainment for War Thunder or War Gaming, right? World of Tanks, World of Warships. They have a very prosperous and supportive gaming community and they make investments in their community. That's why they've been in business for so long. Now, for you guys... You're also in business equally as long as some of these big companies like Blizzard and, and everything else. But, um, you know, the big difference is you guys make it extremely difficult for the players to support you when you're milking everyone. So, realistically, I don't know, I don't know what your balance sheets look like. You know, I don't work for you guys. But imagine what could become of your games if you actually took the time to make the investments into the gaming community that supports your business venture. You know what I mean? I, look, I understand business. Like, if you look at, well, if we cater to these guys, we maximize profit, blah, blah, blah. Yeah, I get that. All about maximizing profit. But the games that always ring through, the, the games that really rise above everything else, are the ones that support the gaming communities. Wargaming's done this really well. They've also had mistakes, but you know what I mean? That's just that's normal, but they deal with those mistakes as best as they possibly can. Same thing, you know, if you look at uh, Blizzard Entertainment, right? You got to realize something. I live in South Korea. A gaming community can keep games alive for a long, long time. I go to a PC room over here in this country, and there are people still playing competitively StarCraft One, which came out when in nineteen ninety. Eight or 1990 anyway a long time ago dedicated player base starcraft 2 dedicated player base league of legends a very dedicated player base and they make investments into their community and even if you look at any of these companies that make the investment in it generally players are very happy and they stick with the game for a long long time what you're doing is forcing the big guys to spend and everyone else to stay up to date and to be competitive. And you guys have a real opportunity to turn the game into something that's actually worth bragging about. You know what I mean? If your main goal is player acquisition, support the game community that's supporting your your game. I mean, like I've heard interviews from your, your CEO um talking about how the inside of the company is run like a stock trading floor well if you're running a game like a stock trading floor you're not going to have happy players right run it like a gaming studio 
make those investments into the community. Listen to the players, what make the game better. That attracts more people. And instead of having tens of thousands of people rush to the App Store to give you a one-star review and to shit on your game and complain about Google and go to the refund center, whether Google agrees or not, people are so angry that they're going directly through their credit cards and they don't give a shit about the repercussions because of some of the malpractice you guys are employing on your game. If you want to stop that, if you want to stop those that from happening, take the time and evaluate the strength of the community. You have a solid gaming community that supports the game and the product, but not at the price points and not at the strategic level that you guys are employing that you guys are employing currently. So you can look at this as an opportunity. Make some of the changes that we want. Don't boilerplate every single message. Like, I understand you get thousands of them a day. But address the main ones, right? A lot of YouTubers are covering the strike. A lot of YouTubers that cover the game are a voice for the player community. And this is a public, you know, announcement to you guys. Specifically dealing with the strike now and why we're striking. The glitches are too bad. Then, then on top of it, it's too many mistakes too quick. You know, if, if you're going to claim in your emails that you're testing thoroughly before release, and then it's a device issue, like it was with the glitch a couple of weeks ago, that wasn't an, a, a device glitch. That was an algorithmic glitch because every phone had it, unless you're saying everyone's devices was glitched, which is, is just not the case. Own up to the mistakes. Say you made a mistake. Right, everyone makes mistakes, especially in technology, especially in business, especially as you know, me and YouTuber, I make lots of mistakes, you know. But you have an opportunity, so seize the opportunity and listen to the player base, because the only one to benefit from it is you, the company, because people will get behind a game that's that has a strong community and that has the ability to support the direction of the game. And right now, the only players that are supporting you are the ones at the absolute top end of the spending stick, which means no players are going to want to come in new uh, to to play it, right? So you guys have an opportunity here to, to make a difference. So ball's in your court, but a lot of players are ready to quit, and a lot of players are just kind of tired of, of how you guys have been pushing this material. All right, guys, to end off the video, I'm going to leave all pertinent strike information in the description below what we've shared what the discord room is get off a line go to discord we don't have to deal with bots on discord it's already protected go there go there all right guys that's it that's my big strike announcement for mobile strike uh, if you enjoyed this video give it a quick like guys and if you support the strike if you support this strike I want you to share this video wherever you can because it's time that it's time that this company feels the sting a little bit and the pressure that this time the players are very united and ready to to, to, to play hardball with these guys. It, it's just too much. Like when a game gets to this point, especially when it's really enjoyable, you know what I mean? If, if it, is an enjoy, it is a fun game. It's strategic, but it's gotten to that point. So if you want to support it, Give it a share. Give it a like. Cheers to all these, and let's see what happens in the coming week. Cheers to all you.